On Tech Talk this week, we're going to have a look at rear suspension. If you have a look at this one on this ZX9, you can only just see the rear suspension unit, so I'll have to tell you it's adjustable in all sorts of ways. Luckily for you, I've already got one removed, and I'll show you what you can do. Right, well, that's better. We can now see what we're doing. There's the shock absorber then. There's the passive spring, which I'm sure you can see. This centre section here is threaded, and there you've got two rings there. These are the things that you actually adjust the preload on the spring with. So what you do, you get a C-spanner. There should be one in your toolkit, or if not, you'll have to buy yourself one. That fits on there like that. Unscrew that one, which is purely the locking ring, and that allows this bottom one to turn. And then if you want more preload on the bottom one, pull it up, compress the spring, tighten that one up. So that adjusts your preload on the spring. And then you've got also, you've got adjusters for the compression damping and the rebound damping. And again, these can often be difficult to get at. Not so much the top one, but the bottom one is. But again, put a screwdriver in there and you just click that down or open, depending whether you want to back it off or put more compression on. You can probably just hear that clicking there. And the same with that one, just clicks through. So that's the way of adjusting your rebound and compression damping. Now that's for a monoshock, which is tucked well up under the frame there that you can hardly see. There's another one, slightly cruder sort, with no adjustment on the damping at all, but the spring loading adjustment on this one is on this big collar at the bottom. And again, you need a C-spanner on there. See those big teeth? Put that in there, this fits better there. Then you crank that round and it moves on these cams. So you can at least adjust the preload for carrying a pillion passenger. But if you've got a twin shop bike, a lot of the principles still apply, but you've got no actual damping adjustment on this one, but you can adjust the spring there. See this cam arrangement, just the same as that bigger one, but this one is easier to show. And I've got the correct C-spanner for this one. I'll turn it upside down. You can see the cam arrangement round there. So you put your C-spanner on. I need to block this here so it doesn't turn. And just turn that round. You can see, see, one. Oops, slipped off there. Two. And so it goes. And I'm not going to do any more because it's very difficult on the bench. But that is compressing your spring. Same thing, if you can, this is a brand new shock and you've seen these with a the remote reservoir there. This one has got its adjustment for damping on there and you just click that round. Dead easy on that one, see it? Just going clicking round. And the same principle for actually adjusting your preload. So that's what suspension is about in all its many guises.